ignition temperature it is one of the essential conditions required for a substance to burn or for a substance to start its combustion what are the other conditions we know that the other conditions are for combustion a fuel is required and to burn the fuel oxygen is required and ignition temperature is the third essential condition for combustion to take place let us understand this ignition temperature with the help of some examples take an example of a candle does a candle burn on its own no you have to light it with a matchstick that means you have to give it some heat okay take the example of a wood can we burn the wood with a matchstick no we have to burn it with some more flame either you burn it with a paper or you burn it with using kerosene oil one more thing have you seen forest fires when does this forest fire occur does it occur at in in all the seasons no it occurs when there is extreme amount of heat in the atmosphere and due to which some grasses catch fire and slowly from these grasses the entire forest catches fire so all these examples tell us that different substances require different amount of heat to burn more the heat required more will be the temperature required for a substance to burn that means we can say that the lowest temperature required for a substance to burn will be known as its ignition temperature so what is the definition of ignition temperature the lowest temperature required for a substance to burn is called its ignition temperature so now let us understand this ignition temperature better with some activity we take two paper cups in one of the cups we put 50 ml of water now let's start burning both the cups with a candle what are you observing here you observe that the empty paper cup has started burning whereas the paper cup with water has yet not started burning what does this indicate this indicates that the empty paper cup has reached its ignition temperature so it has started burning because we are supplying continuous heat to it but in the second case the cup with water has not reached its ignition temperature but we are still supplying heat to it then where is that heat going that heat is being transferred to the water in the cup due to which the paper cup does not catch fire because the ignition temperature of the paper cup has not met so this activity clarifies that ignition temperature is very much essential for a substance to start burning it is the third most requirement for starting combustion okay moving further we have two substances kerosene and wood we try burning both of them which substance will burn quickly kerosene right and wood will take a little more time to burn that means the heat required by kerosene to burn is less compared to wood so the ignition temperature of kerosene i can say is lower than wood okay these substances which catch fire very soon are called inflammable substances their ignition temperature are much lower so how can we define inflammable substances the substances which catch fire very soon or the substances whose ignition temperature is very low are called inflammable substances now the other examples of inflammable substances are petrol diesel cng lpg all these fuels are much much inflammable okay you have to keep them stored in such a way that they don't catch fire easily so what have you learned about ignition temperature that ignition temperature is very much essential for a substance to burn it is the third condition required for a substance to burn along with fuel and oxygen and what is the next thing we learn that there are certain substances who have ignition temperature much lower than others due to which they catch fire very soon so such substances are called inflammable substances examples are kerosene petrol diesel lpg cng and many more